Hello, this is Shem2409 and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you the 5 best Android custom ROMs of 2013. The first one on my list is the Cyanogen mod. As everyone knows, it's probably the most popular of the bunch. I'm just going to skip through the settings here to show you what it looks like. So, as soon as you install the ROM, it looks just like your stock Android. It comes with a trebuchet launcher, so uh, it has Play Store pre-installed, uh, so you can install the other Google apps from the Play Store. There's no need of flashing anything else. It comes with DSP Manager, Apollo, and just the basic apps, and the terminal emulator, and of course the super user. When you go to settings, that's where you'll find... Here you can customize your trebuchet launcher. Uh, you can customize your lock screen. You can also download different themes. Uh, if you go to system, here you can uh, you can change the quick settings panel. Also the status bar, you can modify it. For example, you can change the battery icon style. Uh, signal status, to make it the text. For example, let's make that small. Yeah, so it's very easy. And in your power menu, you can also select the shortcuts you want to use. So you can add a screenshot and your power menu. Oh, one second. There you go. So here you can you can add the options there. Then you can also change the clock widget, navigation bar. Can modify it so yeah and then the notification light so you don't need to install any custom apps for that it's already in the cyanogen mod rom which is very nice if you go to your advanced settings here you can do different hacks for color tuning so the cool thing found in cyanogen mod, mod also is the profiles you can create different profiles with different application groups and so on, which is always a nice addition. In the settings menu under the system, you can also find performance. And here you can change your CPU governor and the maximum and minimum CPU frequency. It doesn't allow you to overclock, but it's still a useful function if you want to put it in a battery saver mode, etc, etc. But be careful here if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you also can change the I.O. scheduler and the memory management. Okay. And yeah, it's very simple. It's basically based on Android 4.2.1. This is the Cyanogen mod 10.1, but there is versions with 4.2.2 available already as nightly builds. And the nice thing about Cyanogen mode is the updates will show right here. So you can just update it straight from your phone. There's no need to flash the, the updates uh, via flash tool. You can do everything from your phone. Cyanogen mode is probably the, the most widely supported ROM. It covers a wide range of phones and you can find all the details in the link below. So yeah, that was Cyanogen mode. Let's have a look at the second one. The next ROM on my list is AOKP or the Android Open Kank Project. Once again, Android Open Kank Project is available on a wide variety of devices. So uh, you'll have to look at the link on the website below to see which devices are compatible. Okay, so here we go. The device has finished booting up. So let's have a look at what we can find in the ROM. So as you can see, the top and bottom navigation bars are transparent, which is something different. Let's have a look in the apps. As you can see, there, there aren't any extra apps installed, so you'll need to flash your uh, Google apps into the device, because the Play Store is not even present here. But we have the super user, and that's everything. So in the settings menu, you have the ROM control. Here you can change the general UI, so like change Choose the notification background, uh, change the boot animation, 
etc etc like add and enable the kill all button change the UI mode then if we go to lock screen you can modify your lock screen here and there's a lot of functions here such as using different widgets let's use a widget carousel let's have a look oh there we go all right then we can customize in the power menu again so that's exactly the same as in the cyanogen mode we have an option to customize the navigation bar so you can change the colors etc etc the background and we can change the navigation ring in the status bar we can change the toggles change the looks of the battery by battery icon style for example the circle mode battery bar location we can have it at the top have it centered okay we can have a charging animation beautiful just have a look at that let's do it at the status bar now there we go okay can change the battery icon styles change the clock you can modify the looks of your clock the signal here we can once again modify the looks of the signal icon and change the LED lighting if you have one in your phone and obviously the sounds okay we carry on the next part is themes so once again you can download different themes then you have performance control and Okay, let's run the super user rights. And in here you actually have an option of overclocking your phone. So be careful of this. And yeah, so you can change how you want your clock and all the volt and the voltage settings and the governor and IO schedule however you want. But make sure you know what you're doing before you start messing with this because that could uh, destroy your device. You could fry your motherboard. Next, we go to device control. So here you can you can change the color, multiply. You can tune your colors once again. So exactly the same as in Cyanogen mode. Okay. Then if we go to this is actually based on Android 4.2.2. Here you can check your AOKP statistics. Well, let's have a look. Uh, I'm not connected to the internet, but uh, this is AOKP version uh, Jelly, Jelly Bean Build 5. And yeah, okay, so that was AOKP. Let's have a look at the next one. Next ROM on my list is Paranoid Android 3 Plus. As you can see, it's still booting up, it has a nice boot up screen. So let's wait for the device to finish. Once again, it's available on a wide range of devices. The link is underneath, so you can make sure you check it out. Okay, let's have a look. So once again, we don't get too many apps. The only, we have Goo Manager. That's a super user app that comes with Paranoid Android. And here you can flash ROMs, etc, etc. Okay. Looks stuck straight out of the box. So let's have a look in the settings. In the settings, you can see straight away that it looks different. That's because Par Paranoid Android is basically a ROM that allows you to change the view of any app to tablet, phablet, or phone mode. So this would be a phablet or a tablet mode. So. Uh, Let's first go into about phone. So as you can see, it's Android 4.2.2 and I'm un running the Paranoid Android version 3.1. Uh, if you you can see a customization tab on the on the side. So let's click on toolbars. Here you can enable a function that's 
They used to be exclusive just to Paranoid Android, and a lot of different ROMs now have incorporated this into theirs. It's called Pi, so you can set the trigger area. I'll set it as huge, okay. Then the Pi Gravity, I'll set it on the bottom. Pi Style, so let's leave it as, leave it as normal. And the Pi Size, we'll choose the normal. So, what is a Pi? Okay, so now if you press the power button, you can change change it from the full screen mode to a pie mode. So let's do that. So as you can see, the navigation and the notification bars have now disappeared. But if you slide up from the bottom, that's where I set it, you have a pie. So here you can get to all your settings. The top here acts as your notification bar. And on the bottom of the pie you have, or more central portion, you have your your normal nav uh, navigation buttons. It's very nice and very easy to use and you get used to it very fast. Okay, so let's have a look in the settings again. The next, next thing is the lock screen. So here you can uh, edit your lock screen properties again. Next thing on the list is hybrid properties. So in hybrid properties where you'll find most of your paranoid Android settings. So here you can change from a stock UI, which is 320 DPI, to uh, or choose a phablet or a tablet mode. You can also change the interface, so edit your workspace. There's a lot of functions here that you just have to check for yourself which ones work best for you. And here you can also uh, change the DPI for each each app on your phone to make it look like on a tablet or a phablet or however you prefer. So let's go back. Next thing on the list is the themes. So once again, you, you can download different themes. And on the last thing on the list is the super user, which is here. And all your super user, all the apps that have super user rights on your phone will be displayed here. Okay, let's just go back to the main screen. Very cool thing about Paranoid Android is they give you a set of very nice wallpapers as well. Uh, created by artists, they're they're all awesome. So it's a nice addition to the ROM. So yeah, I highly recommend this one. And let's have a look at the next ROM.